Sullivan just into the rough. It's not too thick, though, here at the uh, far course. So every chance still of getting this close at the fourth. Yeah, we talk about the angle, but really when you've got a wedge, a lob wedge in your hands, and just sticking it in and around the flagstick, you'd be disappointed with that one. Check the pace on this one, because it was slightly out on the previous green. Pretty special on this one. Don't you worry too much about the pace when you get the line absolutely spot on. Nice rebound after that little three putt on the third. Andy Sullivan's second to number nine. A green light flag, this one. Big slope behind it. A lot of players getting it past the pin and using the contours to feed it back there. It's going a little bit left, using the left hand ball. Two good shots. He's our leader at 14 under this to extend it. Touch of left to right for him. Stands bolt upright as much uh, as most short players do. Back in the day, Craig Parry was a little like that. Not the tallest chap, but he still does actually get the golf ball out there quite a bit. Good drive. Just with a, a nine iron, good chance to get it close. So they need to fiddle with the clubs a little, a little more shorter guys. I had to do it myself. I had to have flatter golf clubs because I've got long arms close to the ground. And you know what they say about guys with long arms. Deep pockets. No, they've got long arms. There's nothing fancy to this putt. He really should make this. They'll expect to. With his shape, I, I expect him, he will really expect to make a two here today. I know it's a long hole, but just where the flag is positioned, seriously, seriously does suit him. And it's a seriously good shot as well from Sullivan. Every chance he will go ahead and convert that. Gently from right to left. He's left a few out here today. It's a sleeper, this. Uh, you, you just get on the tee because it's so short, you want to advance it so far up there and just flick it on there and make yourself a three. And you just hit it so hard because the fairways are wide here and you just come out of it a little most of the time. Just find the fairway and it's... It's pretty hard not to hit it in there to within 12 feet and make yourself a three. I'm sure you guys will tell us, but it's playing well under its par of four. I couldn't agree more with you. 92. He's got a cool set of wedges. Trying to land it and stick it. Look at that. With a little bit of zip he gets on there. Wow, that's a lot too much. Down breeze. He clipped that perfectly. This is slightly up the hill. He's missed two of this length in the last two holes. Yeah, and sometimes that happens and you just, as yesterday, you see them go in and then today, the hole heals up. But Sully doesn't try to hit it hard. He plays with it in himself and that's a great asset. Never tries to outplay himself. He does what he does and he does it well. I'm not sure he can get it all the way back there with the wind just straight out of the right-hand side with that fade. He's setting up for a right-to-left draw. His go-to shot is a fade. This is going left, only a little. Just a matter if it catches a nice little upslope over there. Two par fives over 620 yards on this course. Here's Andy Sullivan. Yep. Birdie number three today, Eagle the seventh as well. Had that drop shot at the third, and Sullivan takes the lead. Aim to the right and try to draw it and try to trap it and try to de-loft it. Get a little more out of it, maybe five or six he can get out of it. Oh, stunning shot from Sullivan. He was absolutely right, absolutely ripped into that one. 
look at the putter on the ground they're just watching that with Shinklin as well quite a few players now is that guy hanging on it is quite a few players Dustin Johnson with a heel just a little bit lifted off the ground yeah it seems to be toe heavy pointed into the ground doesn't it this is a roller coaster right from left to right it's got a chance it's got a chance oh good putt Straight up the hill after a wonderful little pitch. The grain out of his left. Good putt, not to be. Late in the day, grainy greens start, lip outs become commonplace. And Addy Sullivan just tidying up for his part. Stays too clear with two holes to go. Back on the tee, Sullivan, 17, goes down the left-hand side, not really bothering him. One hundred and eighty five for Andy Sullivan and the flags back left on a little plateau. It's difficult to get it all the way back there. It suits a draw shot and that isn't his go to shot. So he's trying to just zip it in there. High left to right floater. He's good at it. What a shot from Sullivan. Very nearly pitched it in, then very nearly spun it in as well. Sullivan for the easiest of birdies after that wonderful approach shot. Thank you very much, and the lead is three. Just a little downslope, which isn't great. The lie is good. It's great if he gets that chaser going, and he'll need to. Go on. Go on. Ah. Just caught it on the bottom. You know, you're sort of like pumping it in there, and the grain just nips it, and then you come up shy like that. It's so difficult. You've, you're better off playing it with an A time and getting it on the deck like that, or flying it all the way. Aiming way right. This is some pin position here on 18. Come on, Sully. Oh, good effort. Really good effort, but some great play from Sullivan first two days. This in all likelihood to... Well, it depends what Matt Wallace does at 18, but this could be to take a three-shot lead into the weekend. It is a 66 to follow up that astonishing 61 yesterday. It is, by the way, the seventh time he has led through 36 holes on the European Tour. Well, Andy, a bitterly disappointing 66 today to follow that 11 under par. In all seriousness, though, what are the expectations when you've shot 61 the day before when you go out today? It's funny, I spoke about it to psychologists for an out, Lee Quimloom, and um, it was basically just to stay patient and try and give ourselves as many chances as possible. You know, it's, it is hard because, you know, as much as I really, really had to work hard at staying patient today, not a lot. When I was three under three nine, it didn't feel as good as yesterday. Do you know what I mean? But still, you know, you know, you know, you're still, you know, on the right track, sort of thing. And I knew I was swinging it well, and I knew if I just could keep giving myself opportunities, I could make a few coming in. Um, but like I say, um, he told me I was going to shoot uh, 61, 66. I would uh, snap jammed off. Over five strokes game with the putter yesterday, hitting good putts save that are just slipping by. What do you do mentally to? stay in the moment and do what you said there, stay present. What do you do to deal with the misses when they were going in the day before? As much as I, it was frustrating that it was missing, my processes were really good on it. You know, I felt like I went through everything I should have done. I really felt like I seen the line really well. Um, not quite the pace. The pace was a bit firm today. I, I hit quite a few, uh, you know, three feet by, which probably, you know, why I missed on the high side a few times. But I really just tried to, you know, sounds cliche, but I just stuck to my process of what I could do. That's the only thing I could control out there. And um, it's been working.
Just finally, with where your game's at, you said a few more of those puts missed today. Was that the big difference for you? What are you loving about your game, taking it into the weekend for a chance for a second win this season? Um, I feel like I've, I feel like I've got. A, if you could ever say this, I feel like I've got the golf ball under some sort of control at the moment. I feel like I know what I'm, what shapes I can hit and how much I can move it, and it just feels really comfortable out there um, off the tee and into the greens. It feels like you know there's not many pins I can I can't get at at the moment, which is a nice feeling to have. I mean, it doesn't happen too often in the season, so it's nice to have that. Um, but yeah, it just feels a lot of control out there. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.